San Diego jury awards $46 million to paralyzed jiu-jitsu student. A San Diego jury has awarded more than $46 million to a man who suffered a catastrophic spinal injury during a beginner jiu-jitsu class five years ago, attorney said. Jack Greener was enrolled at Del Mar Jiu-Jitsu Club in 2018. One of the biggest, I would say, schools, right? When he was pinned to the mat by an instructor who placed his entire body weight on Greener's neck, according to the lawsuit. The extreme force of the maneuver crushed Greener's cervical vertebrae, causing the student to fall limp, paralyzed in all extremities. There is no academy that has $46 million. Like... If they were to sell everything they had, it wouldn't even add up to $46 million. Like, there's nothing they could do to pay that back. That's why I don't understand it. I don't know exactly what's um, who he's suing, where he's getting the money, like, where they're getting that dollar amount yeah. from. This is this is what I believe happened during that sparring session. Jamie, bend over. Take their... You would put your hook in. And then you would get your other leg in over here. I have him fully mounted... Like a horse. <laughs> he went down on his head, and his head was completely like that. So like you said, the instructor jumped up, had all his weight, and as he did that, he kind of turned like this. Oh. And so that's where it was like, oh. Yeah, like, you know, like, so, yeah, so this is what I think happened. All right, put your neck in that weird position. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I broke it. I thought I broke his neck. <laughs> Like that the instructor did it on purpose or that, you know what I mean? Like people are just trying to make BJJ sound like a bad thing, but it was just like, no, like it just, it was just almost like a freak accident. Hi everyone. I wanted to make this quick video talking about an accident that happened three years ago while I was sparring a training partner and I was attempting a back take from throw position, his neck got injured. Still to this day, I cannot explain how his neck got injured on this move. I was doing what I still do every single day on the mats. It's just that that day turned a terrible outcome and a very sad story. Uh, I wanted to put out there that this wasn't my intention. It wasn't my, a reckless move from my behalf. I was just doing what I still do every single day and this was a freak accident. This is a reminder for everyone who trains this sport that injuries and Accidents can happen on a daily basis. Just in the last year, I've known of three or four other people who suffered neck injuries. So we all have to be grateful every time we can step on the mats and step out of the mats being healthy. Os.